Anthony Anderson made his first court appearance this afternoon. He was arrested on Saturday outside of Colgan Air Services after driving a car onto the runway, boarding a private plane with a knife, and later claiming to have a bomb. News 19's Roger Stafferoni spoke with La Crosse Police today on how they were able to quickly deal with this situation and make an arrest without any incident, Roger. That's right, Dustin. It's a Saturday afternoon and suddenly La Crosse Police receive a call that someone has driven a car through a lock gate and is spinning out around an airplane. Officers arrived just as the suspect, later identified as Anderson, boarded the plane and shut the door behind him. Anderson was then seen going into the plane's cockpit and police were told that if Anderson was able to start the engine, he would have full control of the aircraft. The police Bearcat armored vehicle was called in. Officers were able to park in front of the plane and block its movement while gaining close access. The biggest asset that the rescue vehicle provided to the situation was it created more time. More time for options and resources to be developed and more time for the uh, negotiations to continue with the suspect. And it was a situation that required patience and negotiation. Police were able to enter the plane and tried to get Anderson out of the cockpit. He was armed with that knife. Less lethal beanbag rounds were used. Police shortly afterward able to take Anderson into custody. And today, Anderson making a court appearance for bond. Judge Scott Horn setting a cash bond at $500,000 and also noted due to this incident taking place on a plane, this case might get bumped up to federal court and prosecution. All right, thank you, Roger. And Anderson was recently arrested and later released in Vernon County for recklessly driving a car onto a cornfield. His next court date in La Crosse is set for November 17th.